Hello everyone, today we are going to create this super cool cloud portal animation which is a bunch of 2D layers spread across a 3D space in After Effects and I was inspired to create this tutorial after uh, seeing a super cool animator I found on Instagram. I was thrilled about this and I want to show you guys how you can use these simple techniques to create a very cool uh, portal clouds animation that you can use in your next project or just practice with a 3D space in After Effects. So let's get started. So the first thing you will need to create this clouds portal is to find a nice clouds designs package on internet. You can find some awesome designs for free on Freepik. In my case I will use this package which is actually not for free but you can download any other designs you will find for free. This is uh, not a problem. The most important thing is to have them with a transparent background of course. Alright, so after downloading some nice cloud designs, let's dive into After Effects and create our first composition. You can use the same info as I do. Awesome. And now let's import the cloud design we got. Just make sure to import it as a composition in order to import it as a separate layers. Now I will bring my first cloud into the composition. And let me change the preview to full real quick so we can see the scene in high quality. And now to create the rounded effect, we need to add a warp effect on the cloud layer. Make sure the warp style is set to arc and then set the bend property to 100. Great. Now we can scale down this layer to 50 and play around with the vertical distortion to get some nice form for the bended cloud we have here. Let's set it to minus 50 for now. Cool, and now in order to create a symmetrical cloud portal, let's create an ellipse to use it as a reference for the cloud's form. Let me show you what I mean. So make sure no layer is selected and long press the rectangle tool to select the ellipse tool. Now choose some color for the ellipse and turn off the stroke. Next let's hold down the shift key and create an ellipse right here. Let's align it to the center and set the size to 500 for now. Now we can place this layer here and press the T key to lower the opacity for this layer. Now let's select this layer and press S to scale it down a bit so it will fit better to our reference layer we just created. Now let's go back to the selection tool and adjust the position a little bit. Great, now let's move on to create the rest of the clouds. For this we can duplicate the cloud with the effect on it using Ctrl or Command D. Now let's press R to rotate this layer and then go to the project panel to find the next cloud design we have here. Then let's select this layer and drag the new one on it while holding the Alt or Option key to replace the old one with the new one. Awesome. And now all we have to do is just to find the perfect place for this layer and the perfect angle so we can get a rounded look for the portal. So play around with these two layers until you have a better result. Now let's repeat this process a bunch of times until we have some nice and rounded form for our portal. So let's duplicate this layer, rotate it and replace it with the next cloud. Now play around with the rotation and the position of this layer and then repeat this process one more time. While doing it, you can also play around with the scale of the layers in order to get the rounded look we are aiming for. Alright, I think it looks good and we can turn off the reference layer for now. Let me just move this layer a little bit. And now let's duplicate this layer and replace it with another cloud design we have. Great. 
great i think it looks awesome and now we can delete the reference layer and move on okay so now let's select all the layers we have here and pre-compose them into one comp we can name it clouds comp make sure both are selected and hit ok now let's enter this comp and press ctrl k to adjust the size of it let's set the width to 1080 as the height so we can get a square form now let's place the clouds somewhere in the center we can use the action grid to see where to move the layers i think here it's a good place all right cool so now let's go back to the master comp and start creating the portal but before that i want to mention that if you have just started with after effects and feel a bit confused using it i highly recommend you check out my courses at designinmotionschool.com where you can learn after effects the efficient way with quick and easy to follow lessons whether it's how to use basic shape layers master text animations logo animation and even complicated animations based on a script so if you are interested you can find the link in the descriptions below all right back to the tutorial and start creating the portal first we must convert this layer to a 3d layer if you don't see the 3d function click here then make sure you are using the classic 3d renderer and now let's create a new camera make sure you are using one node camera and 35 millimeters and now duplicate the cloud we have here then let's select this comp and press p to move this layer along the z-axis let's move it 500 pixels and now bring the position property for the camera and move it in the z-axis to check the parallax effect we just created if you don't want to have a lot of empty space between the layers you can enter the clouds comp and increase the vertical distortion to the maximum like this it will make the clouds be more thicker change it for all the layers and once done don't forget to adjust the size of the pre-comp if needed in my case i'll set it to 1500 it looks fine all right now let's go back to the master comp and continue creating the portal for a better workflow let's work with two views just make sure to select this view and set it to top so you can see the scene from above let's move the camera backwards and continue duplicating the clouds comps we have here then select the last layer and move it exactly 500 pixels in the z-axis in order to get a better look for the portal you can repeat this process as much as you want all right we can now move the camera forward and backwards to see the parallax effect we created i think it looks good great and now let's go back to work with one view and create a bit randomized look for the portal for this select all the clouds precomps and press r to rotate the layers in the z-axis randomize the rotation of the layers while watching how the center area of the portal looks awesome now let's isolate this layer and create an animation for the z rotation axis now move to the end of the timeline and rotate the layer for 200 degrees let's see how that looks i think it's great and now let's create the opposite rotation for the next layer If you feel that the clouds rotating too fast just adjust the last keyframe to get a bit slower motion keep doing this for all the layers until you get some nice movement for all the clouds precomps we have in this scene 
The most important thing is to remember to rotate the layers to the opposite direction each. Awesome! After creating the rotation animation for all the layers, let's create the camera movement. To do this, select the camera and press P to move it forward in the 3D space on the Z axis. Place it just before the first cloud comp, somewhere around here. Now create the first keyframe from the beginning of the timeline and then move to the end and move the camera backwards. I think that's enough. Now let's see how that looks. It looks great. Now if you don't want to see a blank space in the portal, we can make sure no layer is selected and create a white rectangle in this scene. We can set the size of it to uh, 200 for both axes for now. And then create an ellipse mask for it. In order to create a mask on the shape layer, we must click here and only then create the mask. Now let's use the title grid and go back to the selection tool. Then double click the mask to move it to the center of the scene like this. Great, now let's invert the mask and increase the mask feather, let's say to 200 or maybe 150. Yeah, that's better. Next, let's convert this layer to a 3D layer and place it 500 pixels before the first cloud comp we have in the scene. For this, we can work with two views uh, once again place the time indicator somewhere here and then move this layer in the Z axis. We can also open its position and set the Z axis to 4000. All right, now let's just adjust the first keyframe for the camera so we won't see uh, this layer at the beginning of the animation. Let's see how that looks. As you can see, we still can see a black space between the layer and uh, it's because the rectangle we just created is too small. To fix this, uh, let's open the size of it and check the chain function and adjust the scale uh, for the width and for the height. Now everything looks great and if you want you can create a text layer and then convert it to a 3D layer and place it before the shape layer like this. Now it can be used as an opener for a video or a transition before scenes. You can use it however you want. And if you want, you can improve the look of the scene by creating an adjustment layer and using a CC lens effect to create a nice distortion for the scene. I think it looks much better this way and it gives the scene a bit more depth. Finally, we can create another adjustment layer and make some color corrections using a hue and saturation effect and using a curse effect as well. So let's add it and it will add a more contrast for the scene. Let's see how everything looks together. Alright, I think it looks very nice and with this we have finished the tutorial. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Thanks a lot for watching guys and I see you in the next one.